Hello and welcome to seventh lecture of Q data structure where we'll discuss DQ that is double ended Q. So prior to this in video number one we have discussed about Q in video number one and in video number two and three we have discussed about linear Q its algorithm and its program in video number four. Uh, uh, four and five we have discussed about circular queue algorithm and program in video number six we have discussed about priority queue and in video number seven that is in today's video we'll discuss about double ended queue fine okay let's start with double ended queue as the name is saying uh, dq dq is what double ended queue so dq stand for double ended queue double end means what there is always a single end so what is double end fine okay uh, in the queue the insertion takes if i talk about a queue if I talk about, okay, I'll not read it. So if I talk about a queue, then insertion takes place from rear and deletion takes place from front. So it, this is in a simple queue. So what is double ending? So double ended queue is a queue in which insertion and deletion both takes from both the end. That is, you can insert from front, you can delete from front, you can insert from rear, you can delete from rear. If you can do both the operation from both the side, then this type of queue is called double ended queue. While in single queue, you can only insert from one side, that is from rear, and you can delete from another side, that is called front end. So DQ is a linear queue structure in which the insertion and deletion operation are performed at both the ends. We can say that DQ is a generalized version of a queue. Fine, okay. If you see this diagram, this diagram is a clear cut representation which is showing you that you can insert from, from this side and delete also, and you can insert and delete from this side also. Fine, that is you can not from middle, not from middle. Fine, okay. Now comes, let's look at some property of, of DQ. So the main property of DQ is what? It acts like a stack. Why? Because if I see this figure, what is a stack? A stack is a linear data structure where insertion and deletion both take place from one end. So if suppose I'm not considering this end, I'm considering only this end, then from here I can insert also and here I can delete also. So double ended queue is acting like a stack. Fine. Okay. Then and also double queue is acting like double queued as is also acting like a queue because from one end you can suppose I'm taking deletion from one side and insertion from one side. So it is also acting as a queue. So double ended queue is bo acting both like is acting both like stack also that is it is acting like a LIFO last in first out and it is also acting like a FIFO that is first in first out fine that is it's acting like a queue and it's acting like a stack fine okay then comes there are two types of queues input restricted very important keep this restriction word where this restriction word is attached input so input restricted so what is input restricted since you know that in a queue double ended queue you can insert from both the side and delete from both the side but you have an insertion restriction on insertion so what is input restricted queue that where from where you can insert only from one side so if you can see that here in this queue we can delete from both the side but insert is taking place only from one side so this is called input restricted now if i take another example output restricted so in output restricted same thing where output can be done only from one side you can see insertion is taking from place from this side also and from this side also but deletion is taking place only from one side this means that we are putting restriction of on output then this is called output restricted dq now comes the following are the following operation the following are the operation what we can do in you know what what all we can do in double ended queue that is we can insert at front we know that we can insert at front while in other queue we cannot insert from front we can only delete but you can insert from front you can delete from end but in other queue you can delete you from front only insert at rear that is fine that is related with other queue also delete from rear which is which was not possible in other queue fine other than insertion deletion we can also peek what is peak to see the front element so if you want to see the front element that is a peak operation you can do a peak operation in double ended queue also so the peak operation get you the front value fine and it can also give you the rear value because here you have a double ended queue there are two more operation is full and is empty is full checks the that queue is full and is empty checks is queue empty now comes application of queue so i'm not gonna gonna read all these things i'm going to only explain First application which we have already discussed that it is it can be used as stack, it can be used as queue. Second, it can be used as a palin palindrome checker. It can be used as a palindrome checker. What is palindrome? A palindrome is a word, is a word from where if you read from left or if you read from right, it you will always get the same uh, same uh, word. That is if I say Malayalam, 
Malayalam M if I write this Malayalam suppose I'm writing this Malayalam M A L A Y A L A M if you read from left it is M A L A Y A L A M if you read from right M A L A Y A L A M so this type of word are called these type of word are called what these type of word are called palindrome so now how you can use double ended q to check palindrome it can be also used a palindrome you see first element you see first element from where you move here you move here you move here you move here so you keep on moving so it will what you keep on moving or you keep on removing no you remove the first element and you remove the last element so is this same yes these are same so by that you can you know use it use double ended q as palindrome checker third application is in multiprocessor what what is in what uh, double ended q act like in multi -pro, what is multiprocessor multiprocessor is a processor which has more than one processor if i say pentium 1 pentium 2 pentium 3 pentium 4 these were the old processor where there were only one processor on the chip then came the concept of dual core where there were two processor in a single chip and then came quad core so in quad core you have four processor in a single chip and these four processor distribute works jobs among them, themselves so how these jobs are distributed how these threads when a process create a thread how this thread get executed these get, threads get executed using double ended queue so i'll ask you to read this you know theory so that you can understand i'm not here to teach operating system that is what i wanted to tell you fine okay